It's time to go big. It's time to go gold. That's right. It's time to do something absolutely ludicrous and bring a one-time exclusive rig to our Calgary Northeast store. The ultimate enthusiast rig for one equally enthusiastic customer. Now people say, Steve, I can't be done. Well, those people were just made up for the sake of the script and making Steve read it back off the teleprompter because he'll read anything. Ha, <laughs> that is true. But like I said, it can't be done. Yet, here we are with this absolute unit of a PC. Okay, okay. I think we've hyped it up enough for you. So here we go, the big reveal, the ultimate enthusiast build. This system has it all. So let's take a look what's under the hood. If you're like me, my eyes drift right to the big gold boy. Well friends, this is the RTX Titan graphics card. That's right, we have the RTX Titan big old bling with DLSS engaged, RTX on, it shines through with 72 RT cores, 576 tensor cores, and 4608 CUDA cores. Let's not forget the Titan's filled with 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM and a boost clock of 1770 megahertz. And the ports on the back, three times of the 1.4 display ports, one HDMI 20 point B and one USB type C. Now that we have the bling covered, let's look at the less flashy but equally awesome. The heart, the beating heart of the system. We have the powerful Intel Core i9-9900X, giving us the souse of 10 cores and 20 threads. Don't forget that it's an X series, which means it's made for overclocking. It has a ton of features for overclockers, including the ability to overclock each core individually. So whether you're working on 3D rendering or working on video editing, or even both at the same time, the i9-9900X will give you extreme performance. You're gonna have one of the fastest consumer CPUs on the market. So what memory do you feed a titan of a system like this? We're gonna scoop out some goodness and serve up some vengeance. That's right guys, Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro, 16 gigabytes, two times. So that's right, we popped in 32 gigabytes of RAM into this beast. Because if you're serious about multitasking with the i9-9900X, you're gonna need that much RAM to match. What a better home for all these components than the Asus ROG Strix X299E. This board comes packed with everything we need. It has eight times dim, where you can get up to 128 gigabytes of RAM. The ROG board has dual NVMe slots, and we just stuck a one terabyte Samsung Evo 970 NVMe for the speed. The Strix X299E absolutely is packed with special features. To keep the Titan tame and cool, we want the Corsair H115i. RGB Platinum CPU cooler, and to power this Titan of a machine, we have the Corsair HX850 ATX modular power supply, 80 plus plat. While Nvidia recommends a 650 watt power supply for this card, in a build like this, you're gonna be pulling a lot more power from the wall. This setup, we saw a peak of 585 watts of total system draw. And to contain the Titan in the gates of Tartarus itself, we have the Corsair Crystal Series 570X Mir RGB. I'm hyped. If you could not tell, we're gonna name this one-of-a-kind MEPC custom build. So if you're familiar with Titans, I think Hyperion is the most fitting name for this PC. The Hyperion is an exceptionally versatile machine. It is ideal for the studio professional, whether it's editing, 3D design, render times like a madman. And for winding down after work, the Hyperion will let you game hardcore. The Hyperion could be your new best friend. Who wants to see the Hyperion benchmarks? Let's get some hype in chat. All games were benched on 4K max settings. We use HDR when available. You can bet we threw in some RTX on. Mi amor, Overwatch. We visited Paris to reawaken our love for Overwatch and got a sleek 115 FPS on max settings, popping off at 4K. Je suis amere. After spending all of our money in Paris, we tried to get a free chicken dinner in PUBG, but we were left to starve. It seems that Russ does not want to feed us. Even the performance of the Hyperion could not make Russ better at this game, but we did get 76 FPS again on max setting at 4K. We tried our luck in the newest Battle Royale craze. It's zipline time! Apex is where we got a killer 82 FPS on max settings at 4K. By the way, can I say how much I love Apex and Pathfinder? 
in my main squeeze. After being tired of losing in battle royales, we hung out with Laura Croft and got 71 FPS on max settings at 4K. New game hype! Anthem! We got 54 FPS average on max settings. It looks super beautiful as well. All right, this is the part where I ask you guys to sit calmly in your seats because it's time. It's time to look at Battlefield 5 and we all know what Battlefield 5 uses. DXR, which supports RTX and DLSS. We get to see some RTX on action. Just look at those reflections in the water. And what's this? Your player is reflected in the gold gun? How fitting for this gold RTX Titan. And while we were actually benching, a new patch came out and we saw an average jump of 20 FPS. RTX is only going to get better and better with time guys. Before the patch using DXR, we saw 50 FPS. After the DXR patch, the frame rate bumped up to 70 FPS. With DXR off, we saw a slight performance boost up to 81 FPS. Now we'd be asking yourself, whoa, whoa, what is this DLSS thing? How does it work? Well, I'm glad you didn't ask it. I'm going to tell you anyways. DLSS is Deep Learning Super Sampling, a new rendering technique. Do you remember the Turing architecture they talked about with the tensor cores and AI? Well, DLSS is where it comes into play. It's tech that uses the power of deep learning to collect and store information in NVIDIA's supercomputers. It then uses the deep learning to render higher quality 4K image with less strain on the system. Game starts with 1440p and it uses the DLSS to fill in the rest to achieve 4K image. This will reduce the workload on the rest of the GPU. In theory, this will improve gameplay for everyone who is using DLSS. Since it's an AI, in time, it should learn and get better and better and hopefully doesn't take over the world. Now we're adding a few different benches for this Hyperion system since it's such a beast. We'll show you some serious PC benchmark such as PC Mark 10, 3D Mark, Cinebench and Blender benchmarking tool. PC Mark 10 had a score of 8640, 3D Mark Port Royale and Time Spy got a score of 8611 for the Port Royale and 13938 for Time Spy. Cinebench up next with 2127 average for the CPU and 185 FPS for GPU. We mentioned this is a workhorse PC, but it's great for video and 3D rendering. The CPU Blender benchmark test finished in 14 minutes and 58 seconds. And the V-Ray bench tested the CPU at 1 minute and the GPU at 48 seconds. So if the Hyperion has you salivating for a new high-end system, you can come on right down to our Calgary Northeast location where this system will be sold exclusively. There's only one of these builds. And if you want, I'm pretty sure we can get Russ to sign it and maybe make a PUBG joke while he's at it. Now the price. It has the Titan. You know this is gonna be a big number. So drum rolls at home at your leisure, please. The system comes in at $7,321.86 Canadian before tax. This includes the built me and Windows 10. Now, if you missed the one of a kind MUPC Hyperion, we have a similar pre-built using the RTX Titan. You'll be able to order from any of our stores. So there we have it. Will you be the slayer of this Titan and send it back to Tartarus? Or will you build your own unique system? I'd love to hear about your systems and your dream systems. Does this one take the cake as that? Or do you have a wild imagination you can get a dream build upwards of 10k? Maybe that's the next build series. Hmm. So let's kick it to what we know and you know all about. It's MEXP time. That's right. It's where I remind you about the old MEXP sponsored this month by our friends at Seagate, where we got this rad prize of two four terabyte Seagate NAS drives. You know how this works. Just comment on any of the videos from February and you're entered to win. Just like that little tippy tap do and you're in. It's that easy. And of course, you guys remember to find us on social media. Facebook and Twitter are the same at Memory Express and our official Instagram at Official Memory Express. So guys, I'm Steve from Memory Express. I'll see you guys in the next video. Imagining what you would be like to be inside this box as a Titan and you're releasing the gates of Tartarus and you're like, freedom. That's how I envision it.